Hi everyone, this is Spring from IEM ECM Love to support him in AP region. Continue with the series. In part four, uh, I will cover, continue, go through the prerequisite for standalone FileNet cluster. Okay. Here, uh, I will also first go through the major, uh, bullet points in the, in this slide. Um, and then we'll go back to the Ansible playbook to go through the details. Okay, at step one, actually, uh, we'll first prepare the GDBC driver download site. Actually, the GDBC uh, driver is the first standalone uh, file that content manager container uh, operator 559. Actually, uh, in, uh, by default, actually, it does not work. So you have to refer this link. Okay. You have to refer this link like uh using the some uh, like a Docker or Postman uh to run uh, like a HTTP service. So you can uh you YAML file here okay, you can refer this using uh IC and it's called drivers and it's called URL to access this GDBC driver. This is only option, okay, of, uh, standalone file, file that 559, uh, currently. So you have to use this, uh, steps. Okay. Okay. Back to the slide. And then you will also do some, uh, silent install of FNCM operator. I will cover that later. That means uh, there are three options and only two options for standalone format. And also uh, do some uh, row and row binding configuration for FNCM operator. And then last one should be the private Docker registry certificate trust. Uh, deploy operator. So, yeah, should we continue the prerequisite? Yeah, we are in the prerequisite part two. Okay, here you can see, uh, first we will go through the GDBC's, uh, configuration, uh, that means GDBC driver data. We'll first copy the GDBC driver, okay, uh, like, uh, we will first we will prepare that GDBC, uh, dot zip file, okay. Actually, it contains, a uh, whereas, uh, variable of, uh, Various of uh, GBC drivers, like for DB2, like for Oracle, and a Postgres, okay, and all all those together to, uh, I mean to extract uh, to, uh, to comprise into a zip file, so uh, to form a GBC zip file. Then we copy this GBC uh, file, and then a uh, next we will run a Postman, and uh, to uh, okay, just pull in, uh, like a name HP server and also pull and also the, uh, that source like docker.io dot library slash HTTP, HTTP. Okay. And then we pull that image and also run that, that container image. Okay. And then we will copy that, uh, driver to the working parts and then we using portman copy and copy the GBC uh dot zip directly to that port HP server port. Okay. Then we, we can provide a like HP service. So later on the from CR YAML it will accept the GDBC dot zip from that URL. Okay. After that actually we will Copy the salad install variable that shell. Okay, let's check salad variable for that. Okay, in this one. You can see actually this is actually the copy from that uh, container sample uh, archives. So actually here you can see uh, normally for slide like uh, FNCM namespace is the namespace we created for FileNet. Okay, namespace. This is an Ansible variable. And also, uh, 
the auto O namespace is no and also uh, class add a class three user no and also user put that class three user as empty okay and then oh, actually we choose the option one we use uh, IBM uh, entitlement key okay the source registry password okay and actually you have other option like uh, for external you can see the comments set for external document registry you can use this but you can only use either one that means you can uh, use an uh, entitlement key or you can use uh, this uh, I mean comment section like a uh, push image you uh, local public registry like your local registry and local registry user and password but you cannot use that both okay that means you, both you put that in value, okay? You, if you just want to use, uh, uh, I mean, the local registry, you just command FNCM entitlement key, okay? That's it. And the last part, you, you can know that that's only for the OCP, uh, OpenShift uh, container uh, platform, okay? Okay, let's back to the Ansible playbook. And after that, and then we'll, we'll install the FNCM operator, operator family. Okay. Then we check the install. This shell. So actually we'll go to that directory and then run the uh, silent install variable. This file actually we already replaced with the actual value, okay? And then uh, we'll run, next we'll, at last we'll run the deploy operator dot shell. So all this actually run silently, okay? So it perfectly will, should be working fine with Ansible script. So name is actually Ansible script, and then I'll call this uh, script to complete the uh, deployment of operation. Okay, and then I think we just back to see if we have some remaining issue here, prerequisite. And oh, after that, actually, you can see uh, some copy some class zero and class zero value, and then we apply those uh, in Kubernetes namespace. Okay, and. Okay, the last part, it should be uh, to enable all worker nodes in Kubernetes cluster to trust the certificate from container registry, from your local container registry. So you can see here a couple of uh, Ansible tags. First, it will create a save folder on all worker nodes. And with the following parts, uh, etc containers uh, serve.d and then uh, you local registry hostname plus port and then copy the certificate of container registry to all worker nodes for this pass. But actually this act, uh, is for the early version of Kubernetes. Uh, for the latest uh, Kubernetes version and the CRL uh, uh, build like uh, 4.22 or 4.25 25 you also need to copy the registry.com to replace uh, this file uh, in all worker nodes like a slash etc slash containers uh, to replace this file the purpose doing this actually is will uh, it will try to add you a local container a local container registry host into this insecure repository list Okay, let's check on the server worker node side. So you have a better understanding. So here you can see uh, this is worker node. Uh, this is a master node. So you just go to the worker nodes. Okay, then you go to this pause, etc. 
and containers. And then you just view this file. Repositories. Sorry, should be the registry.com. Uh, let first check this file. Yes, should be the registry. Yeah, sorry. And then you can see this file actually here. First, in the unqualified search reports, where you need to put uh, your local registry in the list. And then under the registry, you also need to add this section. That means uh, also for the prefix and location, you need to add that accordingly. Like you uh, local registry host name, and also you port uh, 501 by default and slash. Uh, this is actually you, our uh, file name namespace. Yeah. Yeah. And with this, actually, the worker node will trust that certificate from a uh, container, container registry. So, when try to when the uh, when the worker node try to pull the image from a uh, container registry, it will now it will now show any uh, uh, it will now show any uh, unauthenticated or untrust error. Uh, so they will trust the certificate. Okay. I think uh, that's it for the part three. Thanks for watching.